Well, scientists in Japan have been digging through garbage bins and landfills near and far and have discovered a new strain of bacteria. It sounds gross, but this bacteria actually has a beautiful side. It might actually help solve a huge environmental problem. RT's Manila Chan has the story. It's not news that the world is addicted to plastic. And although many U.S. cities have recycling programs, still much of it ends up here. And from the dumpster, it ends up in our landfills as a best case scenario. But researchers at Kyoto University in Japan have just discovered a strain of bacteria that may change the face of our planet as we know it. They call it Idianella sakaiensis. And this bacteria literally eats away at polyethylene terephthalate, or PET plastics in particular. All those water bottles, Coke bottles, even materials in your clothing, they all have PET. Plastics aren't generally biodegradable. They're made up of polymers, which are long, thin molecules of repeating building blocks called monomers. They cross-link with one another and form durable mesh that we know simply as plastic. And since they're carbon-based monomers, theoretically, they should be a good food source for microorganisms. Scientists know that over the millennia, bacteria and fungi have evolved together with natural materials to eventually develop their own natural way to eat what they can from any dead matter. But since plastics have only been around for about 70 years, experts believe the bacteria just needs time to evolve. The microorganisms just need time to figure out how to break down the carbon as an energy source. And given that plastic is relatively new, this might take a while. Good thing scientists are already now working on ways to expedite this evolution process. For the last five years, the team in Kyoto have been rummaging around piles of waste to study these plastic-loving microbes, different than the previously discovered fungi that ate away at styrofoam. They've been able to manufacture more of the enzyme that breaks down PET. So this is welcome news for environmentalists and scientists alike. In Washington, Manila Chan, RT 